This is a story from New York. Not the New York of Manhattan Broadway, but from perhaps the toughest square mile in the city, in the South Bronx. I was 14 years old when I joined the Young Lords. The Young Lords were a street gang that became politicized by the Black Panther Party. We became visible as servants of the people. And the people began to understand that New York City offers no solution for spics or niggas or anyone else who's oppressed. One of our targets was Lincoln Hospital. That building was condemned 25 years ago. Condemned! Condemned for rich people and opened up for poor people. It was a place that you went to to die. Lincoln was called the butcher shop. Blood stains on the walls, blood stains on the floors. And there was a rat in the emergency room. We have seen children get lead poisoning while hospitalized at Lincoln Hospital. So we felt now is the time for us to say exactly how we're going to respond to the killings of our people. Our plan was to take over Lincoln Hospital. We have to begin to stand up as the people, the Puerto Rican people, and say that's enough, that's enough. We have been asking for changes to take place. And you've paid no attention to us. You've thrown us out of your offices and you've called the cops on us. And now we're putting you out. You've taken over a hospital. We're gonna run it, you're out. And I will walk you to your car. We immediately announced that we were not leaving until the city made a firm commitment to build a new hospital. From El Barrio to Arecibo, About a thousand police were on ruse with high-powered rifles. They had vans all over the place. If the police came in, it was going to be a bloodbath because the police hated the young boys. We were terrified. To all who had to hide, I say, Palante. Power to the people means, including people, to gain control of their destiny. The Young Lords were ahead of our time in terms of recognizing that health care is a right. We wanted a revolutionary change to the health system in this country, and we still do. No oppressor is invincible. 